As a Lumex filmmaker for the last six plus years, I finally got to try out the Mark II, the GH5 Mark II, and I wanna talk about the main question I've been getting lately. Should you upgrade to the GH5 Mark II, or should you wait for the GH6? which hopefully is coming soon. Panasonic announced a competition where they're giving away a GH6 uh, video competition and they're giving away the GH6, announcing the winner on October 27th, 2021. So maybe they're gonna announce the new GH6 on that date because how do you give away a camera that doesn't even exist? So that's our only clue as to when it comes out. It's looking like it'll be out in November, 2021. So I'll talk about using the GH5 Mark II and whether I would buy the GH5 Mark II or possibly wait for the GH6. And what I'll say about the GH5 Mark II is it's kind of like a stepping stone camera. Uh, in the same way I thought the GH5S was that, it's, it's, it's just kind of different. It's good, sure, it's a little bit better than the GH5 in a few different ways, but they're kind of all just like Band-Aid fixes there's not any massive, massive changes that, in my opinion, would warrant switching from the GH5 to the GH5 Mark II. So if you're already in the Lumex environment, I would just say wait for the GH6. Uh, waiting for a camera, you could spend your whole life doing that because I thought GH6 was gonna come early this year or even last year, uh, it still hasn't. So who knows, maybe it doesn't come out till next year, um, but I would say the GH5 Mark II wasn't enough of an improvement on the GH5 to warrant buying. I don't really understand the product market fit for that camera. Uh, if you're someone who's looking to get into filmmaking and don't, don't have either of the cameras, yeah, maybe go for the GH5 Mark II, um, but I wouldn't worry about upgrading. I would hold off and maybe see what the GH6 has in store as I'm hoping it makes some massive advances over the GH5 versus the GH5 Mark II, which was just kind of, you know, a little bit of tune-ups here and there, but really you're not missing much. So I hope this video is helpful. Leave any questions in the comments below and feel free to check out my Lumex Filmmaking Masterclass. Uh, let me know any topics you wanna see moving forward and I'll see you guys in the next video.